I don't even think Anthony Edwards is a top 10 player in the league right now. So I think if, if, he, he, wins. If, he, was, if he was to win a championship, it'd be unbelievable. Um, but I don't think he's at a level where it matters yet. And so that's just my opinion. I don't think he's being questioned yet. I don't even know if that Luca's being questioned yet because Everyone knows that, one, he's a defensive liability himself. His team is a defensive liability as a team. He doesn't, outside of Kyrie, all they do is shoot. Um, so they don't have a real big pre- like a, a big on that team that can help them realistically. Did, didn't they have KP, Porzingis at one point? Yeah. Like that, I don't, I mean, that would have been a guy that you would have not wanted to let go of. That should have been a match made in heaven. Like, we thought it should have been, been. But, he was, but Porzingis was always hurt with that. Um, <clears throat> there's one guy, to me, that he's been put in conversations of MVP. But I don't think he's even a top. I, don't, I, I would argue that he is maybe the 10th best player in the NBA. Jason even though he's being praised as God. And it's Jason Tatum. I would tell you right now that Joker, Embiid, Giannis, LeBron, Steph, KD, Kawhi of Healthy, Luka, SGA, Dane, Jimmy Butler are all arguably better than him. Jimmy Butler has done more with less than Jason Tatum has. Now, Jason Tatum has been to five Eastern Conference Finals. Um, the first one he went to was, he wasn't the star of the team. Um, the second one, he averaged like 17 points a game. It was him and Brown. It was more like a committee that, that was, they were the two, they they were the two best players, but in the playoffs, it was like a committee. It was supposed to be Kyrie. Yeah. It was the three. So the real three years that him, he and Jalen Brown went to the Eastern conference finals. They lost to the Heat in the bubble. Then they beat the Heat and lost and lost to the Warriors in large part because they were completely immature. Because they were better than Golden State. They were flat out better. They were way more talented. But they got beat up here. And then they lost last year to the Heat. Jason Tatum's if Jason Tatum was to win a championship this year, he goes through the roof, presuming he's the MVP of the finals. Because if Jalen Brown, who I think is the better player, is the MVP of the finals, then Jason Tatum is. I think Jalen Brown's the better player. I thought Jalen Brown's the better has been better than Jason Tatum forever. I think Jason Tatum is the light skinned dude in Boston because Jalen Brown looks like the angry black in a racist ass city like Boston. It's a fact. Jalen Brown is phenomenal, except that he can't dribble left. <laughs> but he's phenomenal. His mid-range game is unbelievable. He's athletic as freaking all hell. He shoots at a higher percentage than Tatum. He's more efficient than Tatum. Yet he always gets put his second fiddle to Tatum. Now, again, if Tatum was to win a championship, though, and be the finals MVP, I think that elevates Tatum's entire career, not to mention you're winning in Boston. There are two, at the end of the day, there are two NBA cities, Los Angeles and Boston. I'm a Heat fan. It ain't Miami. It was Chicago for six years. It ain't New York. Boston and LA right now are tied at 17 in rings. If Jason Tatum gets them a ring and puts them at 18, he will go down as, so. he will be become, be, beyond being beloved in Boston, <clears throat> he will be able to argue that he's a top five player in the NBA. I think it changes the trajectory of his career because right now he's a choke artist. He's a choke artist. He hasn't had, you lost to an eight seed, bro. I don't care that it's the Miami heat. You lost to an eight seed. You were down three. Oh, yes. You came back. You got a gift to get to game seven. 
And yes, you sprained your ankle, you still played, and your team got blown out of the building on your home court. And I still think Miami would have beaten you. So thank you for watching Come On Now, the podcast. Please be sure to subscribe, like, comment, and ring that bell so you get up-to-the-minute updates when we publish new content. You can also find us on Facebook and Instagram at Come On Now Podcast and X and TikTok at Come On Now Pod. Thank you again for supporting this channel. Thank you.